7 Best Places to Live in South Carolina It's not a secret that South Carolina is a host of natural spectacles and tourist attractions. It's filled with festivals throughout the entire year. Moreover, the state also has a bustling economy for every job market possible. Hence, it is not a surprise that many young and old professionals are flocking here. Home to around 5 million people, South Carolina offers almost perfectly calm weather. In a study conducted by the United Van Lines, many people see South Carolina as one of their top picks for a permanent address. Of course, there's a good chance that you're among these individuals who want to try the auspicious living standards of SC. And if that's really the case, this video's right for you. Hello everyone, this is Anne from Pack and Go. In this video, I'm going to list down the best places to live in South Carolina. Watch until the end so you can decide whether you want to move to this state. And without further ado, let's get started. 7. Lexington The first on our list is the biggest town in South Carolina. Lexington is in the heart of Lexington County and a suburb of SC's capital, Columbia. If we take things back 30 years ago, I would never recommend that you move to this place. There weren't any activities in the area. It was far from the bustle and hustle that its state capital had to offer. However, the narrative is different today. It has a strong economy and provides seemingly limitless job opportunities. The biggest economic driver of Lexington is its housing boom. Today, properties here sit at a desirable rate of $190,000. Meanwhile, its median rent cost is at $1,000. So that's fairly affordable already, given that this town is close to the capital. As a dense suburban town, it is not surprising that it is among the best places to start a family in South Carolina. It has a pleasing level of safety and its public schools can really give your children the quality education they deserve. Lexington also excels in outdoor recreation. It has a plethora of parks such as the Saluda Shoals Park, Gibson Pond Park, and Virginia Hilton Park. For hiking enthusiasts, the 14-mile Creek Trail serves as the perfect route. 6. Mount Pleasant Mount Pleasant is one of the largest suburban towns within Charleston County. In South Carolina, it is undeniable that Mount Pleasant has the fastest growing population. At the time we made this video, its population size was 86,000. Compared to the towns and cities we listed here, this one is definitely the most populous. Despite this, the place still offers premium living standards. Since it's an economic hub for South Carolina, many are trying their best to get their spot here. Employment opportunities are flourishing here, with various industries catering to different careers and professions. Niche ranked Mount Pleasant as second for the best suburbs for young professionals in South Carolina. Because of the insane value that Mount Pleasant provides, its median home value is one of the costliest in the entire state. A decent family home would cost you $461,000, which is twice bigger than the national average. But since the median household income here is $103,000, many of the locals still have a place they call home. Public schools in Mount Pleasant are more than desirable. The Charleston School of the Arts and the Academic Magnet High School are state recognized for their performance. Keep in mind that crime rates here are quite prevalent, so you need to be extra vigilant. 5. Irmo The town of Irmo should never be excluded from this list. After all, it's considered one of the safest cities throughout the entire state. Moreover, Money Magazine also recognized Irmo as one of the most affordable places in the United States. These accolades prove that moving into Irmo is a decision that you will never regret in your lifetime. Irmo flaunts itself as a gateway to Lake Murray, which is one of the natural wonders of South Carolina. This simple and peaceful town is also just 10 miles to the bustling metro of Columbia, the state capital. There are only around 12,000 people living in this place and the majority of them have their own property. With a median home value of just $125,000, it is not a surprise anymore if people can get a permanent residence here. Compared to other cities in South Carolina, Irmo is downright a sleepy town. But there are lots of things that you can do to have fun and relax with your entire family. Frankie's Fun Park, Saluda Shoals Park, 
and Irmo Community Park are among the highly rated recreational hotspots in Irmo. Four, Fort Mill. You will never regret if you decide to move to Fort Mill. The suburb within Charlotte County has a population size of fewer than 18,000 people. It is a small town that offers a sparse rural feel. Located at the east of Tega K, Fort Mill provides a number of transportation options to some of the key cities in South Carolina. Hence, even if there are no employment opportunities that you can get there, it is still within the proximity of South Carolina's economic hubs. Buying a home here is a desirable option since its median home value is moderately priced at $289,000. Meanwhile, its median rent cost sits at $1,000. Local residents here enjoy a median household income of $91,000. It is big enough to cover their essential needs as well as their other financial goals. Interestingly enough, some of the best of the public schools in the entire state are located here, such as the Pleasant Knoll Middle School and Springfield Middle School. Your life will never be boring in Fort Mill. It has numerous attractions that include adventures to the Ann Springs Close Greenway and carowinds. For fishing and water-related activities, the River Walk will serve as the ideal spot for you. During the night, bars and restaurants can keep things alive and active. 3. Five Forks The Five Forks is an exquisite residential and tourist destination in South Carolina. It is a census-designated place in the state specifically within Greenville County. From a population size of 10,000 in 2010, it's almost doubled to roughly 18,000 in 2021. It is proof that many people have found this place as a wonderful place to raise a family or retire. With its suburban setting, Five Forks is considered a home of the middle to affluent classes. The median home value here starts at a staggering price of $300,000, with a median rent cost of $1,600. Still, residents find these figures bearable. After all, the median household income here is $114,000, which is significantly bigger than the national average of $62,000. Five Forks has superb economic growth. It has witnessed gradual expansion in its employment rate and business opportunities throughout the years. The cost of living may have grown slightly, but locals are still capable of buying their needs and wants. Fun and enjoyable activities are waiting for you and your family in Five Forks. The ever-famous Frankie's Fun Park is located here. You can also visit the Pelham Mill Park, Mesa Soccer Complex, Discovery Island, and Big Air Trampoline Park if you want to fully enjoy the recreational provisions that this city has to offer. 2. Tega K Tega K is the home of Lake Wiley, Carowinds, and Windjammer Park. It is a city most known for its balance between recreational attractions and thriving economic opportunities. For those who don't know, Tega K is among those unique planned cities in South Carolina. It is situated in York County, north of Rock Hill and Fort Hill, and as of 2021, this suburb had a population of roughly 10,000 people. Despite having a rural atmosphere, this place is still a premium choice for individuals who want a place to live in the state. But acquiring a home here will not take you on an easy route. The median property value in Tega K is $331,000, while the median rent cost is $1,400. Interestingly enough, roughly 95% of its residents have their own homes. Well, that's something that they can do given with their median household income is $130,000, which is more than double the national average. Diversity in this place is pretty wonderful. People from different backgrounds and ethnicities are mingling harmoniously here. Tega K even flaunts an extremely low crime rate all year round. 1. Forest Acres This suburb in Columbia is definitely the best place to live in South Carolina. With a population of fewer than 11,000 people, Forest Acres provides its residents and tourists a welcoming suburban atmosphere. It's filled with numerous parks and green spaces. Moreover, it offers hassle-free commuting through its downtown and surrounding neighborhoods. Many families, professionals, and retirees go to Forest Acres. The majority of them have their own homes, given that the median home value of this idyllic town is less than $200,000 which is lower than the national average as of 2021. In fact, 
It is one of the reasons why many people see Forest Acres as a darling choice for their next residence. Overall, living standards in this place are above average. Access to public schools are pretty easy and the cost of basic amenities is not that expensive. Moreover, you'll love the fact that this place has one of the lowest crime rates in South Carolina. There are also stunning attractions in Forest Acres. The Sesquicentennial State Park, Trenholm Park, and the South Carolina Military Museum are some of the places that you should check out in this city. And that completes our list. Subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll never miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Take care and stay safe.